Did you know that there were palm trees underneath the ice in Antarctica? Yeah. It's also in the North Pole. Look at this. 49 million years ago, the Arctic Ocean was nowhere close to the expanse of thick ice sheets and sub-zero waters we see today. It was a lush, steamy basin where crocodiles basked, palm trees swayed, and turtles glided through waters as warm as the Gulf of Mexico. Six months, no sun. Night crocodiles. Here's the story science tells to explain why there were palm trees and a rainforest in Antarctica. 90 million years ago, climate change affected the Earth. What caused it? They have no idea. That story sucks. Yeah. <laughs> According to the Bible, when Noah's flood happened, the fountains of the great deep burst forth, causing the plates to move away from each other. The plates moving east and west collided into each other on the other side, causing the formation of all of the world's major mountain ranges. Meanwhile, Antarctica splits off and moves south. According to the Bible, the flood lasted less than a year, which means that Antarctica would have went from being closer to the equator to the bottom of the globe in a few hundred days. And if this is a global flooding event that caused the entire world to be covered in water, where it's warm enough on the earth for rain to fall, it would have been rain. And where on the globe that it would be too cold for rain to fall, it would have been snow. This explains why Pangaea would have split apart, how the mountains were formed, and why Antarctica ended up at the bottom of the globe with an intact rainforest underneath glaciers of ice. Which is what this rainforest discovery may actually be. Evidence that Noah's flood actually happened.